Hello, everybody. This encounter happened in Canada on Crow's Nest Pass in Alberta, near the town of Coleman. It was winter on December 1st, 2012. It happened to be cold and overcast that day with no wind and a slight chance of a snowfall. Well, between 11.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m., a husband and a wife were out cross-country skiing and having a good time. They had just crossed a remote country road and were about to ski across a field when, on the other side of this field, they spotted an extremely large wolf standing just inside of the tree line on fours, its height roughly three to three and a half feet tall. The wife was wondering what in the Sam Hill and said she felt uncomfortable as the creature was staring right at them and following their movement. Her husband happened to be carrying a 22 rifle on his back on a sling. So he brought the rifle down, chambered a cartridge, and fired into the ground in front of the creature. Well, sir, she said that the creature looked at the ground, then back at them, probably thinking they got gumption, and then began to growl. She said that the growl went up and down in sound, and it was very deep and menacing. She said that her husband shouldered his rifle again, but did not fire. What really gave her chills was the look on that creature's face. She felt that the creature knew that the rifle was a small caliber and was not something that could kill it with one shot. Moments later, her husband fired again, this time into a tree that was next to the creature. But the creature didn't even flinch. However, what it did next made both of them flee in terror. About 30 seconds after the second shot, the creature stood up on two legs, making it between six and a half to seven and a half feet tall. One of its front legs, or we can say arms, was against the tree that her husband shot. And the growling continued, but it had increased in volume by quite a bit, and the creature was moving its jaws up and down like it was gnashing its teeth and having a hissy fit with a tail on it. Whereupon her husband fired three more shots directly at the creature, all three hitting it in the chest. Boy, then that creature let out a drawn out scream howl and ran off into the forest on two legs. They, however, fled the other way back towards their vehicle. As they were skiing back, they had to pass through a small area of forest. And as they were doing so, they could hear something running towards them from a distance through the woods. Luckily, they cleared the woods without anything happening. But when they broke out of the forest, they estimated that whatever was chasing them was no more than 35 to 40 yards behind them. She had her cell phone with her and was thinking about using it to take a picture of the creature. But as she was thinking this, she suddenly got a feeling that if she took that photograph, the creature would have a come to Jesus meeting with them and kill both of them. She said that the feeling was so strong that she immediately shoved that phone in her pocket. It wasn't as if the creature sent her a psychic message or anything. It was just a feeling. One thing she mentioned though, in a hushed, embarrassed voice, when she and her husband made it back to their vehicle, she noticed that she had actually peed her pants. Heavens to Betsy. 
She didn't even notice until the adrenaline rush ended. She had actually been so scared that she lost control of her bladder. She had always thought that the creature was just something from the movies. But she got a harsh reminder that day that things aren't always what they seem.